Joining me now is Todd Zarfus. He is the SAE President 2023. Todd, thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So the big question to start us off, what can SAE members expect during your tenure as president? Well, a lot of it will be continuing great work that's already been in work. Um, I think our continued focus, we want to continue to strengthen our STEM initiatives. Uh, we have our already wonderful uh, World in Motion and uh, Collegiate Design Series programs. Um, standards is a bedrock of SAE, so we need to continue to deliver on those. Um, the mobility space, and that's what a lot of WCX is all about, is hearing what, what are all the great things happening in the mobility world. Um, we're going to continue that. And the lastly is we have to be responsive to our membership's needs. We've got a diverse community out there. We have to keep on evolving with them. And you have a long history in the aerospace industry. Yes. How do you see or do you see technologies crossing over these traditional sector lines as we come to know them? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the amazing things because whether you're looking at electrification, autonomy, cybersecurity, uh, sustainability, all of those are relevant for all three of our sectors. So aviation, uh, automotive, and the land vehicles, all are dealing with the same types of issues. So how do you see SAE helping advance technology in the mobility industry? You know, I, I think SAE and our standards really form like the base pyramid level. You know, if you look at technology development as a pyramid, the base floor really needs to be about standards. Um, and then it, it allows all of our industries to can come in on top of that. The companies, the OEMs, they can bring their own innovation, their need for market differentiation, all of those types of things. But we want SAE standards to be at the base of that pyramid. And when we talk about, you must mentioned STEM earlier, but when we talk about innovation, how important are STEM programs to this like world in motion in developing the future engineers? Because SAE has a long history, more than 100 years. So when we look at the future, how does that help? Well, you know, earlier in my career, I had the opportunity to be in classrooms with the world in motion and, and uh, donate my time. And I see it as uh, for many of those young children, it's their first opportunity to hear about, you know, well, what does a scientist do or an engineer do? And giving them practical examples, fun projects to work on. I, I think it, without a world in motion, many of those children would never get that opportunity, or at least not certainly uh, so early in their lives. So we think it's a uh, uh, somewhat a life-changing program. We're going to continue to focus on it. So what makes WCX so important to this industry? Yeah, I, I mean, I think WCX, the, the great thing is it's, it's a uh, way to bring for each of the stakeholders. It doesn't matter if you're talking about networking, professional development, if you want to hear about the latest technology developments, whatever it might mean. There's something here at WCX for each and every one of our stakeholders. And as the president of SAE, what would you like the members to know the most? Uh, I think that, that we are here for you and we're going to continue to be relevant. And as well as we continue want to hear what are your ideas as far as what do you need going into your future? All right. Todd Zarfus, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.